All right, let's quickly solve this. This is very simple. Now, what do you do? I have um, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, base 2 is equal to x in base 10 plus 1, 1, 1, 1 in base 2. Now, this one has to come here so that x will stay alone. So this one coming here means 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 1, 1, 1. All right, they're all in base 2 is equal to x in base 10. So let me find this first. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Minus 1, 1, 1, 1. So let us do that subtraction. This minus this cannot go. Don't forget they are in base 2. I'll borrow 1 from here. 0 is many here. Call it that 2, 2. 2 minus this will give you 1. Are you getting that? So now, 0 minus this cannot go. I'll borrow 1 from here. I cannot borrow here. Borrow 1 from here. Call it 2. Put it here. 2. Now, borrow 1 from that 2. Call it 2 again. Put it here 2. Don't forget that here is now 1. Okay? So 2 minus 1 will give you 1. Then 1 that is many here minus 1 is 0. Don't forget I borrowed here. So here was 0. This minus this cannot go. I borrow from here. Call it 2. Put it here. Borrow 1 from that 2. Here is many 1. Call it 2. Put it here. 2 minus 1 now is 1. Then 1 that is many here. You bring that 1 down. Don't forget that here is 0 because I have already borrowed. Now, all these things are now in base 2. But they gave me this in base 10. Where is it? The my x is in base 10. So simply convert this to base 10. Convert it to base 10 will give you... 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 0 times 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is, uh, this way for this will give you 16 because 1 times 16 is 16 plus 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1 because this way for this is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So I have um, 16. This is 10, 20. This is 10. 26, 27. Option B is very, very correct. 27. Bye-bye.